Hey, y'all, Jim Panky here. Every time I do a live stream, I get a request for this tune, Pretty Polly. So I thought, hey, what a great opportunity to take a forward roll and show y'all how to turn that into some melody notes, as well as show you how to use your index finger in ways that maybe you hadn't tried before, like on the fourth string. So let's let's look at this classic old tune, Pretty Polly, and it's got a cool mountain sound, and I'll show you how I play through it, and then y'all can figure out your own way too. But before we go any further, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, ring that bell, you'll get notifications, thanks. All right, so let's look at this. So we're gonna do forward rolls. So it's three, one, five, three, one, five, three, one. But we're also gonna do a forward roll where we come up to the fourth string with our index finger. So we'll do something like three, one, five, three, one, five, four. So you're gonna reach up and get that, so. And I know that's going to be a little uncomfortable for you, but you can do it. It just takes a little practice. And if you're going to get into any of the Ralph Stanley kind of stuff, you need to get used to moving with that index finger because we're finding the melody notes with our index. So our first little bit of that song is all forward, so we're going to go... fret, third string, and we're going to bend that note a little bit. And then open. And then the fourth string, and then we're going we're gonna to bend it a little too. We're not bending it to a pitch, we're just bending it, just tweaking it, just a little bit. Just enough to make it sound kind of out of tune-ish. I, I don't know, it's kind of cool. So that whole bit. Third fret. And then we're gonna stagger our roll a little bit. You could still do a forward roll here, but I just go. So just three, two, one, with that finger down. And then just a three pinch, three pinch. And that gets you through the first little phrase of Pretty Polly, sounds like. The next part we do a similar melodic phrase, but we're gonna go up high. We're gonna go up to our G position here, but we're not gonna hold that whole shape. You could if you wanted to, I don't. I'm just gonna hold the first string, or hmm, just gonna hold the second string, third fret, first string, fifth fret. <laughs> and just, I'm gonna slide into that and do a forward roll. Two, one. So I'm just sliding that first little bit. Two, one, five, two, one, five. And then I'm going to put my pinky down on the second string at the sixth fret. So that sounds like two, one, five, two, one, five, two, one. And then pick pinky up. Two, one, five, two, one, five. And then we're going to do that slide back up again. Pinky again, just hold that note and then pick it up. Pinch five, two, one, five, two, one. So that gives you the the next little phrase. It sounds like this. last phrase of the song and we're going to go back to our G so it's 
two, one. We're gonna put our finger at the second string, third fret, two, one, and then we'll slide back to the first fret. And then third fret, third string, index on the third. So it sounds like. And you can bend that if you want to. Don't have to, but you can. So it sounds like. And then we're gonna do a forward roll again, but this time we're gonna be reaching up with our index on the fourth. It's the, so the pattern is three, one, five, four, one, five, three, one. Let me do that again. Three, one, five, four, one, five, three. One. And again, you can, you can bend that just a little bit. And then we're gonna go to our third string, third fret, and then three, one, five, three, one, five, four. So we've done that. And then we need one more note to end it. Now, I don't know if you noticed this while I was playing, but did you notice what I did with my index finger on my left hand? I kept it right there as much as I could. So it, it kind of gives me a frame of reference as well as it creates this, if all the strings get to ringing, it creates this mountain minor sound, G modal sound. It's really cool sound for these really morbid old murder ballads. So that's you a fun break, easy break, all forward rolls. So once you get this down, you should be able to fly with it for Pretty Polly. Have me play through it really slowly for you. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.